Hi there everyone, welcome back to Wayne's Garage. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video this uh, it's probably lunchtime I think it is. Um, on Tuesday. Um, to say a big thank you to Brett um, for inviting us down to his car event. Um, and that that the HDHR Queensland Club put on uh, with Brett. So, and that it was a great weekend. Uh, I loved it every minute. Met so many great people uh, that actually are followers on the uh, on the channel, and a lot of them on the Facebook page and through Facebook. Um, so yeah, so it was great um, getting out. It's actually the first time I've actually been to any actual real event uh, um, for the channel, um, and that and. Uh, yeah, I, I loved it so much. It was great. Um, it's gotten me into the, the the mood to wanting to move more forward with the HR uh, with my build and that because I'm wanting to get it to the Nationals. Now, to be able to do that, um, it's going to take a lot of time. One time I don't really actually have, time's not on my side because one, I study four days a week um, and that, and I'm absolutely buggered after I finish class um, those four days so I have a Friday and Saturday schedule. Now I also paint Warhammer 4K miniatures as well um, and that on commission and I've got a lot of that on the go too, so uh, I'm having to do late nights trying to paint, um, and that I buggered my back last year doing work for the doll, which sucked, and it still hasn't been the same since. Um, so it takes it's been taking me a little bit longer to do the painting because I'm sitting down, and I'm sitting down all, like most of the day, four days a week as well. So it gets a bit a bit painful on the back. Um, but I get there, I don't let it bother me, I just keep going. So, you now it was good getting down there, it gave uh, it gives you a lot of good ideas um, and inspiration what other people have built, um, and that's along those lines and so forth, like that. And um, I was just talking it over, over with a few people of what they've done to their cars. Some have bought their cars already done um, and that sort of stuff and just added their own little touches to them. Mate, that's great. Um, that keeps the old girls going, uh, keeps them out and about and, and um, yeah, it, it doesn't matter if you buy a car that's already done. Um, it's just the factor of enjoying the hobby, uh, enjoying the old cars, getting out, cruising around, meeting new people um, and that. Um, like yeah, I, I met Lloyd, I met Samantha and her partner, uh, Brad as well, um, and that, um, yeah, there's just so many people um, that actually do see the channel, have seen the channel or have subscribed so far. Now, I got there on my way back um, on Sunday. I pulled over for a bit of a break for half an hour to an hour and that and um, checked my messages <clears throat> and um, I've been been invited to uh, take myself and the channel to the Winton uh, I think it's the Winton um, historical uh, historical motor vehicle um, festival, I think it is. I think it's the uh, Winton Festival of Speed. I think that's the actual name that they actually call it, um, and that which is next month. Um, now I've spoken to um, spoken to uh, Mark about that, and um, he's actually going to see what he can do. He's going to put it to the committee about seeing if they could help me come down, uh, so I can stay there for the uh, three days I think it is or four days can't remember um, and come down and do some photos 
uh, some videoing and, and that sort of stuff. But the thing is, if I go down to Winton or if I do the event that they hold here in Queensland, I want to try and get to the thousand subscribers because then we can actually do live. Then you can actually see everything on the day um, and that sort of stuff. We can do one whole big snippet of a live scene uh, if I can get there and maybe see if somebody uh, has a spare seat in, in one of their race cars, a passenger seat, maybe I can get them to uh, chuck us in and take us for a, a lap or two around the, the track as well um, and that and get you a, a live video of, uh, of that too so um, so that that's another another event that I've been invited to would really really like to go so um, yeah just um, like I say like if you want to help out um, please feel free and that just inbox me and that um, and we can go from there um, and thanks to the new subscribers that have subscribed in the last week we're up to 167 now um, which is pretty cool it's getting there um, and then the Facebook page has uh, been bombarded since the weekend uh, we've had another 20 29 subscribers or something um, over the last week uh, maybe two um, on the Facebook page for the likes um, the posts have been going really good thanks for the support everyone on the Facebook page too um, so please if you're on the Facebook page and you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please jump over and just subscribe to the channel just so we can get the thousand numbers uh, the likes and comments helps go into the um, the algorithm of things um, on YouTube. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, all right. I'm gonna head off. I got some miniature painting to do. Uh, I need to get another four more done before Thursday, so I can get them to the customer um, and that. And um, I'm hoping to hoping that I can, well I actually won't be able to next week now because I have uh, picked up, uh, well haven't picked it up yet but I will be heading out to Biggerton uh, next Wednesday. I'm having to take a day off, off class to go and cut a roof off another wagon um, that I've managed to score for, um, uh, for that build. Uh, so I've got to go out there, I've got to take the welder out, um, take out the steel that I've, made, I've got there, which I was going to use for something else, but uh, I need to make some, put some braces in to, I'll just walk around at this one. When I cut it and that, I need to put some braces in to, in between the door sections um, and I'm hoping to put one long one going through to the back there probably another one through to this side here um, and that uh, depends on the steel and the problem is if there's anyone local that has a trailer uh, that I can borrow for the day um, and that because I don't want to whack the try and put the uh, the roof to onto the ute because I'm, I've got the toolboxes and the ute tray is not long enough so I'd have to stick it up on the um, the roof of the Rodeo so that that becomes a little bit sketchy uh, I've also got the, the uh, lights on the top now so I've got to try not to break them um, but it will fit width wise it will fit on the ute but it will be um, interesting strapping it all down because uh, it become a bit of a wind drag as I'm driving back um, so yeah so if I can borrow a trailer maybe with a cage or something on top um, then I can actually sit the roof on top of the cage and then strap the roof to the cage um, and do it that way um, so yeah but if not I'll get it back that way um, so yeah now just in the background over that shoulder there 
um, is a V, I think it's a VK, VB, VC set of console now. I need to try and get rid of that. Um, if anyone wants it, let me know. It has got, I think that one's got a small crack or two in it, but it's all there. It's complete except the uh, plastic that goes in that section there. Um, and that, let me know. I'll work a deal out. Um, happy to deliver it but within means. Um, if not, um, pick up, um, or if not, shipped um, to probably Brisbane. That just depends. So yeah, um, got a few other parts. I'm going to chuck up on the Facebook page um, over the week uh, that I needed to sell to get some funds coming in for the channel. I have a couple of grills. Um, the center console there, uh, bits and pieces of plastics from the old uh, Commodore that I had. I also have a, um, a HZ bonnet. It has a small bit of rust in it, but it's all repairable. <coughs> um, so yeah, a few bits and pieces. Um, I've got the two new Tailgate skins there for the EKs through to FB or whatever it is, and the FX F. J um, Tailgate skin as well. They're brand new. Uh, they're not um, new old stock. They are reproduction. Um, but the best reproductions that I've come across. So yeah, get on to me for that. Um, brake cylinder, uh, brake master cylinders for the HDs, HRs. I think they fit in the EHs as well. Um, I've got one new on stock. And I've got one reconditioned uh, with new rubbers and seals in it um, already. So if you're after one of them, get on to me about that. Or um, I can do you a deal. You send me your old one in exchange for the uh, ones that I've got, and I'll drop I'll, I'll drop the price down a little bit and um, for exchange. So um, yeah. Or I'm happy to get there and uh, re uh, hone them out and uh, put new kits in them and that as well so happy to uh, get you to send me a little bit of work that way um, dog legs as you know I have started to make a couple more up I'm in the processes of trying to get the time to finish off making the die up so I can get back on to finishing the next set of two uh, so there will be two lefts and two rights um, that's what I'll be making up no more just that for now if anyone's interested let me know through Facebook uh, or comment below and um, we can just discuss it and yeah. Right then, I'm going to get back to painting. Um, once again, thanks to the um, the invite, Brett. Uh, mate, I love the day. Great meeting you. Um, and that, if you're interested, there is a HR, uh, don't know, Brendan from King of Toe uh, has one in his yard. Um, sitting up on top of some cars don't know the condition but Brendan if you see this video get in touch with me because I want to have a look at some bits on it um, so if I can get the fuel cost to get up and get down there and back um, there's a bit bits and pieces I want to have a check on um, so yeah All right then um, so if you're wanting a tow get on to the king, uh, king of tow um, and that Brendan's at Nanango so um, also jump over to his um, YouTube channel uh, King of Toe Crew um, and that sort of stuff and uh, check his videos out too alright then, uh, take it easy and uh, until next time uh, stay safe and always keep the rubber side on the tarmac cheerio